We do have some major news today in the skies with word of two low fare airlines planning to become one. Yeah, this is big. South Florida based Spirit Airlines and Frontier Airlines plan to merge. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport to tell us about this deal. It's a pretty big one, Andrew. Oh yeah, this deal could turn this combined uh, company into one of the five largest uh, carriers here in the U.S. It could also solve a whole lot of problems here at South Florida airports. The team up is a game changer. Frontier Airlines and Spirit planning a $6.6 .6 billion merger. The merged carrier would leapfrog other pretty big airlines, making them the fifth largest in the U.S. behind American, Delta, United, and Southwest. I just want to get back home. I've been getting the runaround for a little while. You see people all on the floor like they've been here since last week. Spirit and Frontier have been struggling with losses the last two years as air travel plunged during the pandemic. Travel delays, worker shortages, one problem after another, especially here in South Florida. Each time they've said that, uh, can't process your call, you know, try us again later. Frontier and Spirit also had some of the industry's worst customer satisfaction ratings, according to the American Customer Satisfaction Index. The companies have yet to say what brand they'll fly under or who would lead management, but say the combination would bring two airlines that have very low cost fares together for good. So also happening right now, if you take a look on your screen, Spirit Airlines stock, it's also up following the news around three points in trading today, nearly 14%. It's not clear, though, if the merger will be approved by federal antitrust regulators just yet. That's the latest here. Outside FLL, I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.